In this video, we will demonstrate how to use groups on OER Commons. You will learn to share and organize resources in a collaborative workspace. Then the groups feature will be discussed. First, you must be logged in to create a group. Move your mouse over to the Groups tab at the top of the page and click on Create your own group. Since I have already created a group today, I am prompted to try creating a group tomorrow. So please be aware of this constraint while creating your group. I have logged using different login ID. Type in a descriptive name of your group and select what type of group it is, either general for instructors or students or administrators. Then click next. Select the subjects that your group will focus on by clicking the boxes next to the subject name. You can select specific grade and you can add as many grades as you like. Then click Next. Fill out the group's description or purposes. Then click Next. Finally, you need to set permissions for anyone who can join your group. You have two options. You can either leave group open so anyone can join or you can choose that interested members must first get approval from you before they can join the group. Select your permission and then click Next to officially create your group. Now that you have created your group, you can edit your group profile information by clicking Manage Groups. Profile information is where you can change the description of the group and upload an image for the group. You can also add administrators by typing in their email or OER Commons username and clicking Add Admin. Be sure to save the changes you make to your group profile information. When you click on Membership Control, you can change your group permission settings and invite members to join by typing their email or their OER Commons username and clicking Send Invitations. When you click on Members, you can see the members of your group. Recent Activity is where you can view the activity of your group. Group resources allow you to create collection folders and add resources to folders. To create a collection folder, click on New and type in the name of the folder. You can also add subfolder to your collection folder by clicking on Add Subfolder and typing in the name of the subfolder. OER Commons members have created many different types of groups. Access these groups by moving your mouse over Groups and click on See All Groups. You can filter the groups by type, subject and grade level. If you are looking for a specific group, you can also fill out a keyword and press Search. You can find the group you would like to join. Click on the group and click Join this group underneath the description. Now that you created and joined groups, you can start saving resources to your groups. There are ways to save resources to a group. The first way is from the resource itself. Click on the green save bar next to the resource description and identify the group and collection folder you would like to save it to. Click on the folder name to save. You can also add a new folder to save the resource to. The second way to save a resource is within a group. When looking at the Contribute to this group bar, click the drop down and find Submit. Add the resources web page link into the search bar and continue. Add the title and description of the resource. Then enter the authors and the conditions of use. To make the resource easily discoverable by others, enter the subject areas material types, media formats, education levels, language and finally tags. Then click continue. The resource will be reviewed and the status will show pending. Once the resource appears, 
you can move or remove them from different collection folders and subfolders. Simply click on the box next to the resource title and pull down the resource folder options to add it to the appropriate folder or subfolder. You can also move resources from your group by clicking on the box next to the resource title and selecting the trash bin icon. Thank you for being part of this MOOC. Happy learning!